Hi everyone, Daniel Hastings here from MMJ doing things a little bit differently. Normally I have Mr. David Geary next to me doing our monthly blog, uh, but uh, we thought we'd make it a bit of a family affair today and uh, we've got um, Brian Hastings, uh, bias all aside, uh, certainly one of the longest established and leading uh, brokers are finance brokers. Brian, thank you for coming along and, and helping us go through. Certainly there's a lot of confusion I think in relation to finance and uh, what's been going on uh, generally uh, in the market out there. Um, probably a lot of talk about investment uh, situations where they've probably jacked up interest rates and lending criteria and so forth. Um, just hoping to get you could shed a bit of light on what's uh, really going on out there, what's the pros and the cons and, and give, us, give us your insights. Certainly. So we'll sure, we'll try anyway. Um, my biggest concern is that uh, with all the conversations in the media today, most people think that um, interest rates have gone through the roof and everyone's under a lot of pressure. In reality, what happened from the government point of view was to put some pressure on investment rates in the capital cities and try and cool the market a bit. I think that's been successful. Um, but in real terms, if we look at the international market and the economy today, mm interest rates are still lower than they've been for many, many yeah, decades. Absolutely. Many decades. So we're, we're still looking at home loans under 4%. Yeah. We're still looking at, let, let's say for instance, if someone was concerned about where rates might go, you could lock in a rate now for five years under 4.5%. When you, when you look at the, the heavy days of you know the late 80s, I know, uh, you know, 17%, late 70% 80s. and so forth. I mean, it's in, in the real scheme of things, it's very yeah. low stuff. And without trying to get anyone into finance that might disturb them, people can put themselves into a rate now that is affordable that they can yeah. lock in and make a, a, a good budget. Yeah. You know, especially on home loans. But look, even investment loans, they've been put up to curb the capital city inflation. You can still get investment rates around the mid 4%. Yeah. You know, which again is better than we've had for decades. Now, if pricing hasn't inflated, especially in the regional areas, there's a good deal there. Lock it in, make sure you're within your budget, and you're getting rates now better than anyone in the 90s or the 80s were getting. So what about home loans right now? What, what would be the sharpest rate that you can, you can see being available? The sharpest is around the 3.6s, 3.7s. Okay. Talk averages, 3.9s, 4%. So under 4%. Yeah. yeah. So because you need the loan that's going to be suitable for you, so you may not get the best rate, and you what, know, depending on what you want. Sorry, and investment situation, so more the mid-fours or something like mid that? Mid-fours for investments, yep. but again, if you lock it in for a five-year period or a three-year period, you'll get a better rate than the variable rate. If you pay it off, you get a better rate than if you only pay interest. So what are the industry sources saying, do you think, looking forward, What's the foreseeable future looking like in relation to, you know, any interest rate rises, instability, stability? How, how's it looking? Do you think? What Look, can you say? It's very difficult. No one's got a crystal ball. But last October, I was saying to clients, you might consider locking in. We all thought rates were going to move. Um, the Reserve Bank has got aspirations to get rates up because they want inflation up. Um, mm -hmm. But from what we're getting from economists at the moment, we're not going to see anything in that area over the next couple of years. And uh, everything looks to be very flat as far as rates go. But as I said, you can hedge against that anyway if you want to take a fixed rate for three to five years mm. and still get a very worthwhile rate. Yeah. Very so, good. you know, I, I think it's a lot better than people think. You don't have to get into a situation where you're over committing. You can lock it in, you can budget, and, you know, prices in the regional areas are good for that. Absolutely. Well, uh, there you have it. Uh, there's certainly some very positive aspects going out there in finance. Uh, we'll have Brian's details uh, put on the screen below us, uh, so you can certainly look him up. You can also look him up on his own website or Facebook as well. Um, I guess just as, as far as the MMJ front's concerned, uh, we certainly had some, uh, some a, a good looking uh, August uh, and even late uh, July as well. Uh, probably one of the highlights being uh, a sale from Victor Shalala from our office and that was also with a co-agency situation with MMJ Dapto being Ian Fitzgibbon and Mitch James and that was a, a site of 100, over 100 acres down at Yellow Rock um, and uh, certainly a spectacular property and we had uh, something like 12 registrations on the day so, mm -hmm. so you know uh, being that it was a sale at 1.95 which was well above the guide and also the reserve price um, shows that there's a lot of positivity in the market even at that higher end especially as well. So. Uh, Thank you again, Brian. Appreciate your time. Thank you very much. And uh, we look forward to, uh, to seeing you in next month's blog. Thanks again.